making the grade, oh my god, this episode from the loud house sucks. The episode starts while Lincoln arrives to his classroom, where he is greeted by all his friends. The moment he sits down, Mrs. Johnson announces that their class is getting a brand new student, Lisa Loud. Lincoln is shocked at this, and Clyde doesn't take the announcement so well, since he has to change seats to let Lisa sit next to Lincoln. When Lincoln asks Lisa why she's doing this, she replies that kindergarten is too much of a waste of time. In a flashback, while the kindergartners were counting monkeys in a book, Lisa was working on an antidote for strep throat. When Lincoln questions why she chose his class, Lisa remarks that she originally wanted to go to medical school, but the principal suggested that fifth grade would better suit her. Immediately afterwards, Lisa's smart attitude begins to irritate the other students, due to completing an entire textbook in less than a second, taking pop quizzes earlier, and her robot, named Todd, destroying the other students' robotics projects. At lunch, Rusty, Zack, and Liam refused to let Lincoln sit next to them, due to his sister's bothersome attitude. Because of this, Lincoln is banished to eat at the sticky table, the messiest table in the cafeteria. At the loud house, Lincoln tells Lisa that she should try to act more like an average kid. Lisa agrees to Lincoln's suggestion, saying that acting average is an interesting sociological challenge, much to Lincoln's satisfaction. The next day, Lincoln is shocked to see Lisa without her glasses and with a new hairstyle. Lisa explains that she looked at different sources on how a fifth grader looks, and used laser eye correction surgery to improve her eyesight. Although she got the appearance down, the attitude proves to be a challenge for her, so she invents a correction collar that squirts her with water every time she acts smart. When Mrs. Johnson asks the class several questions, Lisa tries to answer, but due to the purpose of her collar, she instead makes witty remarks, that the class enjoys, causing Lisa to get praised by her other classmates. When Mrs. Johnson proposes a quiz, Todd comes in and destroys the quiz papers, much to everyone's happiness. At lunch, Lincoln and Lisa are allowed to sit at the table where Rusty, Zack, and Liam sit, and Lisa declares a food fight, which leads to them getting sent to the principal's office. Later at night, Lincoln discovers Lisa throwing away all of her science equipment, due to her finding more enjoyment hanging with the crowd instead of being smart, and littered her room with boys will be boys posters. Luna comes in and asks Lisa to help her with her test for tomorrow, but Lisa denies, claiming that thanks to Lincoln, she found the joys of being average, causing Luna to give Lincoln the death glare. At dinner, the sisters, except Lily, are disgusted with the food they're eating. When Lynn Sr. mentions that Lisa usually helps him with the cooking, Lisa again remarks that thanks to Lincoln, she no longer helps him with the cooking, leading to the sisters to give Lincoln the death stare. While Laurie, Lola, Lisa, and Lincoln are on a drive, a radio host announces free passes for the Royal Wood Spa to anybody who can name the three classifications of rocks. Eager to win them, Lola quickly dials the number and tells Lisa to give the answer. However, instead of naming the three classifications of rocks, she instead gives off three types of rock music, which costs them their chance of winning the tickets. As usual, Lisa thanks Lincoln for this, which leads to Lincoln getting kicked out of the van, and getting left behind. At the house, Rita is informed by Pop Pop that he has been waiting at the train station for over an hour, and as usual, Lisa thanks Lincoln for helping her into no longer doing that. At school, Lisa's kindergarten teacher, Ms. Shrinvis, needs Lisa's help, due to her students catching strep throat. When Lisa refuses to help out, Ms. Shrinvis calls out on Lincoln for leading Lisa down this path, but Lincoln says he didn't have a choice. He would turn Lisa into an average kid, or his friends would kick him out of the crew. Realizing what he has done, Lincoln tries to convince Lisa into going back to her normal self, but Lisa refuses to do so, due to her newfound popularity. Because of this, Lincoln reminds her that the world needs her when she's smart, due to her solving anything the others can't. Although hesitant, Lisa agrees to revert to her normal self, and removing her correction collar. Later, Lisa successfully creates an antidote for the kindergartners with strep throat, and miraculously cures them all. At lunch, 
Lincoln and Lisa are given access to sit next to the crowd. Although she enjoys the appreciation, Lisa decides to transfer back to kindergarten, because she has to pursue her own path and claims that kindergarten just have one advantage. In the kindergarten class, Lisa decides to get involved with the activities the kindergartners do, but warns Miss Shrinvas that if she attempts to wake her up earlier than usual, she'll have to face her robot, Todd, much to Miss Shrinvas' discomfort. And that's how the episode is. So screw making the grade, and screw not allowed. Twas the fight before Christmas is 255,379,700 times better than making the grade. End of rant.